Hi everyone, my name is Lisa. Welcome to Crate Myrtle Row. Today, I finally have a tour of my kitchen and dining room with the renovations completed. It has been a long drawn out process. Basically since Christmas, I did not put any of my decorations back up. I, I mean, I'm doing them throughout my entire home, my living room, which I'm in now, and um, the kitchen, dining room, laundry room, bathroom, and eventually my bedroom. But what I did the most was, if you've been following me, you know this, but if you're new here, I had um, vinyl plank flooring put through the entire home. And in my kitchen dining room area and here in the living room, I had beadboard coffered ceilings installed and painted everything. So there's a, like big changes. You may catch a glimpse of the wall color right here for the living room. I have not finished this room. I mean, the renovations pretty much are done. I got the bay window I still have to paint. Oh, I am so sick of painting, y'all. <laughs> Tired of painting. But I still have to do that. Um, and I've just, I've not got my mindset on what I want to hang back on the walls or decorate in this room. So this tour will come probably at the end of the month or something because I'm just, I'm wanting to take my time in this room and decide how I want things to hang back on the wall and all. But for my kitchen and dining room area, I got that set back. I pretty much knew what I wanted to go back in there and y'all know me i'm a maximalist you know i'm not gonna just put minimal stuff my husband kept saying me are you putting all this stuff back up like well a lot of it i didn't put a lot of it back up you know i know you're gonna look at it and say well it looks like you put everything but i didn't <laughs> there is a whole lot of stuff that i did not put back out in that area um, my strawberry collection, as y'all know, is huge, and there was a lot of it I didn't put back up. You may not be able to tell, because <laughs> I had a lot of it, but I did not put my copper mold collection back out. Um, just something about, as you will see, I painted the room white, and I know you're thinking, Lisa, you like color. Why would you go with white walls? Well, all of my decor had so much color already that I decided the white walls would do more justice to my pieces. And, you know, I looked at a lot of um, friends on Instagram and on YouTube, and I noticed what was catching my eye is even though they may be maximalists like me and use a lot of decor, their walls were neutral, and it really made it stand out better than the green walls I had. Plus, if you've watched when I did my flooring video, once these floors went down, that green wall was hideous to me up against these floors. So it, it had to change to something. So we're gonna go into the one other thing I did renovation wise in there is I replaced my French door going out onto my screened in porch with a sliding glass door. I know most people do the opposite. They want to get rid of sliding glass doors, put in nice French doors. Well, mine, I guess you call it a French door. It, it just opened on one side. The other side was fixed. But it took up a lot of space accounting for the swing of that door into the room. So I wanted to maximize all the space I had in that room. So put in a sliding door where it was just flush against the wall, worked perfectly. And I'm able to turn my table 90 degrees from what you normally see it in my videos and it makes the room look so much bigger because now I don't have to worry about a door swinging into it. I have, it's, it's still a tight fit, but I have room to sit there. But I'm loving everything about this. Y'all, I have lived in this house for, come May will be 35 years and it feels like I have a brand new home. And this, this home was built in 1971. So it's an older brick ranch style home. And we've done renovations over the years, just a little here and a little there, but I never just done everything that I wanted to do at one time. It was just like, I had the money to do this room, had the money to do that room. Well, this time we saved and decided we're gonna hit it all at one time. Do the major, major things like the floor and the ceilings all at once, painting, 
you know, that can come and go per room. But I've hit that pretty much all at one time. I'm just kind of on a break from it because I still have to paint my bathroom. I still have to paint my laundry room and my bedroom and then the trim throughout the house. If you've done any kind of home renovations and painting, it gets old in a hurry when you happen to do it. And I'm, I'm tired of it <laughs> for a little while. I need a break from it. So I'm ready to get back into decorating and not just renovating. With all that being said, I know I was rambling on. Let's just get into this tour so y'all can see my new kitchen and dining room. And leave me a comment below. Let me know what you like best about it. If you've been watching my um, tours, there's several on here that you can go back and see of kitchen and dining room tours. If you haven't seen those to see what it looked like and I have changed things you know over time even since I've started YouTube you know with paint and stuff and especially my decor but I'm absolutely loving what it looks like now and I just can't wait to show y'all so come on let's go see it okay we're gonna get started here in the living room and stepping up and one thing that you will notice if you've seen me start at this point doing any of my tours, including Christmas tours, I painted over the mural. I used to have a mural painted here. You know, it was the clouds up there. It was the picket fence with the flowers and the rolling hills. I hand painted that, you know, free handed it years and years ago, but I am looking for I want to find a vintage door frame, you know, with the pediment to put up there and then the little fluted sides to go down through there eventually, if I can find one reasonably. So we go in here. I did keep this door. Get back up here. This goes into my laundry room. So what I did was decide to distress it. So I took my husband's sander and I just went to town on it. It was already, some places around the handles here were getting worn. So I just added a little more. And I actually love it like this because it gives some color to the room and not just another white door in the area. And then I have that up there. And I painted my walls <clears throat> are the Sharon Williams alabaster. And then the trim. And I got all of the paint from Lowe's. So it's the Lowe's Valspar paint but with the Sharon Williams alabaster color which they carried their own Sharon Williams colors and then the trim is just there I think it's pure white it's just a white you do not have to have mixed at Lowe's so if anybody's wanting because you can tell slightly different colors so there's up there on top of my refrigerator and I will change that out periodically especially for different seasons and then I have some things up there, but let me just get around here and give you a view of the ceilings all at once and of the floors. Love this change so much. Changed out that light fixture. And then I have just some little chickens sitting there and just some I recently thrifted that plate with the 3D lemons on it. And if you've watched my haul videos last year, I got that one with the peaches on it. And, and then up there, I have some more just old enamelware and pieces put up. And of course, there's my stove. I got that at an antique store recently in Asheville, North Carolina. And I, I think I've shown you all that before where I used the old sifter and put a candle down in it. And then here is my strawberry stuff. I had thrifted this key ring a long time ago and just was waiting for these renovations to put it up. And then that I showed in a recent thrift haul. And if you've watched any of my other videos, Kitchen, you will know the story behind this cross stitch um, that my grandmother made and the other one that I found for my daughter that she made in the thrift store. Um, I, won't, I won't repeat it here, but I will put a link down below to the first time I told the story in one of my um, uh, Kitchen videos. 
and it's it's really good <laughs> oh and then that's a vintage stool that I recently thrifted and then I got up there and like I said most of the decor is the same decor I just hung it in different places or used it differently finally filled my rolling pin collection up and there's some old thrifted um, aprons this one it's one of those full body ones was actually my grandma's my dad's mom's and you can tell because she wore it all the time and it looked right there at the at the belly area where it's stained from where she wore it all the time i would love to get that out so if y'all have any suggestions that could clean that stain out and not damage the fabric please let me know below <laughs> <clears throat> and then we have more so there's a lot less of the strawberry decor up there than there used to be and if this is your first time watching my walls used to be this color green everywhere <clears throat> excuse me allergy season is here and it's getting me big time and here's a collection of a few of my cookbooks i have lots more but i just love these old betty crocker ones with the hardback spiral. Recently thrifted this one, and it's about to fall apart, but it's like one of the original ones. <laughs> and then I have a few other newer ones that I like to use. And then we have this wall of the strawberries. And then that is one of those Scentsy warmers. So I have like a strawberry smell stuff in it and then just lots of things and just about everything in my house here is from a thrift store very few of it pieces of it comes from you know retail and then again loving the ceiling and then that's what i did with all my bunt pans and a case i didn't show you guys this was my recent rug find at Dollar General. Perfect for what I use. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Here is, I forgot to take the egg carton up. My brother has chickens and he gives me fresh eggs, so I always save his carton to give back to him. So I forgot to take that down. This is probably, other than... Uh, I'll show you one other thing in here that is new. The rest of it I have had for a while and I just put back in here, you know, for the decor wise, just used what I already had. Um, I recently thrifted this hat and those strawberry dishes up there. All of this is like thrifted finds other than the shelf. My stepdad made the shelf. That's what used to hang in my living room. Um, and I hung stockings on it during Christmas time. So don't know how I'm going to do it this year. And this piece and this piece, my son got it at an antique store. And I think I bought that set new. But other than that, everything else was thrifted. The baskets, the strawberries, all of this, that, that, everything was thrifted. But I love this. And these little baskets... They kept wanting to slide down the pole, so I put some of that putty stuff right there, and it keeps them held in place. And I just loved those old plates. And then I bought the curtains, and it's the matching ones over my sink at an antique store. And then all of the bunk pans are thrifted. And then there is my hutch. And then here is my table. And I know y'all are thinking, why do I have all these mixed match chairs? I don't want this to look like a brand new house or something out of a pottery barn or anything like that. Nothing wrong with that. That's just not my style. And you know, when you look at old homes, the chairs don't match. 
these there's a bench on the other side so that's why you don't see anything there that chair i've explained before um on the end there i just set it there temporarily i had bought two of them to put right here but didn't like the way they were my husband fell in love with the chair says that's his chair he's not you know can't move it so it got stuck on the ends i found these to go here and then i found this chair for my end and this is where we sit and eat most of our meals i'm on here he's on there <laughs> so Hence, that chair stays. I know I could put it up and it'd be, you know, more decorative looking without the mixed match chairs. I could paint his chair. He doesn't want it painted. I could change mine. Don't want to change it. So, therefore, we have mixed match chairs. And I'm fine with it. And I like it. Makes me think of, you know, my grandma's house. Everything didn't match there. And then there, I just kept the um, dough bowl simple with some of my um, collections there. Here is an, an antique mirror I showed in a thrift haul. I think it was last year sometime. And of course, I don't know if y'all have... I just showed this on my Instagram and stuff. I don't think I showed that on a YouTube thrift haul. But I, I got that chandelier for like $20, $25 or something like that. It was hardly nothing. Loved it. But anyhow, here's my old plates, the old mirror. That's a little architectural piece I found. But what I like about the plates here is I can change these out. If I use the same size plate, I can just take the holders off, switch them around, have them mixed up. Like at Christmas time, I could find, you know, all Christmas plates if I wanted to. Find fall colors or just anything, you know, mixing them up. I've got some small J-Dot plates that I'm going to replace, like little saucers to go there. And, um just other colorful plates to not just have all blue and white. But for now, I like the blue and white. It's what I had on that wall there originally, and I just put them back for now. But like I said, I've got the placement like I want it, so now I can change out the plates and use that as another um, way of decorating. And then we have, I put that back here and put some of the strawberries on it and i finally found a place to put my coke and pepsi crates that hold all my miniature things that would not get broken and then there's just lots of little just odds and end things that i've collected that would fit in there this still has the rain bonnet in it that was my grandma's my mom's mom and little salt and pepper shakers that was hers and then just Lots more of my strawberry collection. An old, I think that's a royal crown holder there with just mix match bottles. And then I bought this 1940s strawberry set off of eBay. All of these that you see matches is Seymour, C-E-M-A-R brand, I think. And then those plates behind it are the other thing that I recently thrifted that went new here. And I got those for 99 cents. No, it wasn't even 99 cents a piece. It was all of those plates, which there's eight of those. I think there's eight of the small saucer plates. And it was $6 for all of it. That's what, <laughs> yeah, because it, it was unbelievable. But I just loved how they look there. And again, the little saucers, if I wanted to put them mixed in on this plate wall, I could do that. And then I just added some of my vintage items up here. That thing back there, my grandmother used one like that. Those are stackable little, um, I don't know, they're just round like cake pans almost. But you stack them up and you lock them together and she would fix um, the dinner on Sundays and go ahead and have it each item in those almost always fried chicken, beans, corn, potatoes, and biscuits. And she would have that in those sitting on the table so whoever got home from church first could go ahead and open it up. And then this bowl and this bowl were uh, my husband's grandmother's. 
I recently bought that cake thing at um cake plate holder or whatever at an antique store. And then that mixer was another one of my grandmother's. And that bowl is doesn't go with it. It actually has the white uh, milk glass bowl, but I wanted to add some color, so I added that in there. And then here is another one of those crates with just lots of odds and ends. A lot of these are salt and pepper shakers. And another bunt pan, and that was thrifted there. And then that is those. And then one thing I didn't show you over here was an old Coke thing that was my um, mother and father-in-law's. And then he had got me that holder with the Coke bottles. One other thing I will show you before we show the laundry room is this ceiling fan. I didn't want a traditional ceiling fan because I wanted it to be, you know, I've got this big chandelier hanging down here, so I didn't want something too distracting. Well, as you can see, this one has the fan up inside of it, so I can turn the fan on, and then I can turn another button to rotate that. And it puts out the same amount of wind that or air that a regular ceiling fan and that's on low you can go up really high and i didn't show i uh, added those can lights and then of course like i said that was a thrifted find and i absolutely loved it because that's probably the period of this house in the early 70s that would have went with it i will go in here and show you my laundry room just a, a hint of it it's not been redone it's needing painting it's got a lot of bad places on the walls but i'm going to show you of what I did in there right quick because I don't know if I would end up doing this as an entire room. A lot of stuff's just packed up here but this is what I wanted to show you. I did with some old hankies and some vintage clothespins and then that was my husband's mom's and I think it might have been her mom's that holds the clothespins. And all but I've still got a paint in here take this border down because we had this ceiling redone in this more textured look it used to be the popcorn and you know we got paint stuff up there because I was I was planning on taking this border down it was already tearing in places and so I just told them don't you know don't worry about trying to be so careful because I've got to redo it in here and then I've just kind of hung some stuff in here just for the time being. And then I had this old cart used to be in that dining room and I repurposed it in here to use as a folding table for here. And then one other thing I'm gonna show you to give you a, <laughs> you see these bad places? That is where I had command hooks like this. And if you've ever used these, I mean, I've loved them. I've used them for years. Let's see if I can get this one off. See, like, I cannot take this one off. You should have two little tabs sticking down that you can pull. And the, the purpose of these command hooks is you pull that little tab and um, it stretches and releases the glue that's holding it on. Well, they break a lot. And that's what happened there. I mean, the hooks, they worked fine on my walls. If you got somewhere you're going to put them and you're not worried about ever taking them off, by all means, use them. They work great for that. But if you think you ever need to remove them, just beware that those little tabs will break. You're trying to stretch them. And I was being very careful pulling on it and trying to stretch it down. And it still broke up under the piece so the only thing you can do then is taking pride off the wall well it's essentially glued to the wall now so that's what it does it pulls it off all the way down to the paper and i have another one over here by the way <laughs> i don't think i've ever showed this this used to be 
that wall used to go up to the ceiling and on the very edge of that wall, this was what, how wide that wall was. And as my kids were growing up, we marked their heights on it. Well, when we remodeled that room and took that wall out, we didn't want to lose where we had done this over the years. So my husband marked a, a line on it to where it was hanging in there and then came in here, measured it up, marked it again and hung it back up at the same height. So now we still have a record of my kids growing up, you know, and I'll never, never change that. It'll always hang right there. But anyhow, just wanted to show y'all that laundry room right quick. Cause like I said, I don't know that I would ever do a tour of it because it's more functional, not really decorative. I got it decorated a little bit right now, but that's about as much as it's going to get other than a new paint job. Because, <laughs> of course, you see why. I have to fix the walls there. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you don't already subscribe to my channel, I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Come over to Instagram and Facebook and find me there under Crepe Myrtle Row also. I post more often there. So, you know, if you've been waiting to see this tour, you've, you've gotten glimpses of it along the way. Plus, I, you know, showed little glimpses of the progress with the ceilings, the floors, and all that. But I hope y'all have a very blessed day and be looking out. Probably in a few weeks, I will do the living room. In the meantime, I may try to get some thrift haul videos in for you guys. Bye.